I think you could already guess where I'm going with this one. Quit running in order to lose weight. So don't quit running and expect yourself to lose weight. Well, that could work maybe depending if your calories are in check. But what I'm trying to do is to uncouple the link between exercise and weight loss in your brain. And yes, I know, I've said it before, eat less, move more does work. But obviously, it's all about energy balance. It's not the exercise in and of itself that gets us to lose weight. It's the energy deficit that the exercise can create. And I know a lot of people think, if I just go running, I'll lose weight. And it's not that you are wrong for thinking that. And I mean, I get it. You look at all the top marathon runners, and they are very, very slim. But don't forget, these guys are doing hundreds of kilometers amounts that you and I would never probably do in a week, you know, in a month. So I think also don't forget they've got nutritionists and people helping them, coaching them. It's, it's a whole setup and they need to be as light as possible to run as fast as possible. So for them, it's a different ball game. And I'm not saying that running won't assist you with your weight loss goals, but what will really truly move the needle on weight loss for you is to work out your energy requirements for the day and stick to that or fall just slightly below that if you want to lose weight. And so running is fantastic. I'm not saying it's not great. You know I love running. I'm the, I'm the lady who loves to run. I get the endorphins. I get the runners high. Running is so good for so many things, mental health especially. I always feel so good after a run. However, I do acknowledge that for me and for a lot of people, running does tend to make one a little bit more hungry. Not always, but often it sets me up for sugar cravings. I just sit there and I'm like, oh, I just want to eat and eat and eat, especially if I've gone for a longer or harder or faster run. And of course, then there's more repair. You feel a bit more tired afterwards. So I'm just saying that running itself is not the answer for weight loss, but you can definitely enjoy your running and then just be very mindful about setting up your calories for the day so that you don't just undo all that running you've just done. So like for me, an average run, when I track it on my Garmin watch, my trusty watch, it says it burns around somewhere around 300 to 350 calories for like a five kilometer run, which is not that much. That's like four lint balls, <laughs> which is not a lot. Uh, maybe that's a piece of cake, you know, it's not that much amount of food. But it can help you, it can certainly add up and it does burn off extra calories. So it's not a waste of time. You're getting the VO2 max training, you're getting the cardiovascular benefits, you are getting the weight bearing benefits that running provides. It does help strengthen your bones. So running is fantastic. But if you are running and thinking that that's all you need to do to lose weight, just be mindful that unconsciously, you might be eating a little bit more to compensate for that run, and then you won't lose weight. And in the words of James Dunn, who is a running coach. But what I want to get across is there's a big, big difference, and no, not enough people say this. There's a big difference between burning fat for fuel and losing body fat. They're not the same thing. So if you're getting into running or you're into running because you're wanting to lose a bit of extra timber, this is not necessarily the, the way in which that's going to happen. Okay, in fact, through my experience and the experience of the vast number of runners that I've trained who are running for these purposes, it's got nothing to do with the mileage you're doing, nothing to do with the amount of time spent in aerobic training. It is all about what happens in the kitchen, the food you eat. And that just sounds so cliche, but it's so, so true. So the key takeaway here is this. When it comes to weight loss, calories do matter. Calories count. <laughs> now, you don't have to count them, but they always count. What I mean by that is every morsel of food, and I wish this weren't true, but it is every morsel of food that we put into our mouths contains energy other than good old plain water. <laughs> and all that energy has to go somewhere. And yes, we use up energy just by existing. We use up energy for repair, for bodily processes, for functions, for sleeping, for breathing, for digesting our own food. However, every bite of food contains energy and that energy has to go somewhere or it will be stored. And if you are taking in excess energy, and I'm not talking 20 calories extra, 50, I mean, obviously over time that also adds up, but obviously if you're taking in 
an extra handful of this, an extra chocolate bar, an extra thing of peanut butter, an extra sandwich, an extra burger, milkshake, whatever. And you do that over a week, and then you do that over a month, and then you do that over a year, the kilograms or the pounds will pile on. And so I think, as you guys know, exercise is wonderful and fantastic. Please don't stop exercising. And if you haven't started an exercise program, do it. You won't regret it. There are so many health benefits. But weight loss is not a benefit that stems directly from the exercise. But the exercise certainly can help. It can help motivate you. It can help keep you on track. It helps you to find a community. It helps you to just get outside and just move your body and feel great. But to lose the weight, to lose the kilograms, to shed the centimeters, you have to, have to, have to watch how many calories you're taking in in a day. And there are so many excellent online calorie calculators. And in fact, I've made a video, I will link to it in the description box below, how you can actually calculate whether you want to lose weight, maintain weight, or gain weight, like build muscle, how you can do that without any kind of online calorie calculator or app. It's a simple formula. It's all in that video. Very, very easy, easy, easy to do. And like for someone like me, I average around 1,600 calories as my daily caloric requirements. That obviously depends how active I am. If I'm in an intense exercise phase, that could go up to 1,800. If I'm not moving at all throughout the day, that could drop to like 1,500, 1,400. It really does depend. My baseline from what I've worked out online, I use all the calculators. My baseline before any other processes is about 1,200 calories. So for me to just lie there and sort of basically sleep in a coma all day long, that's how much I would need. And so that just gives you an idea. But I am a small, light female. If you are bigger, if you are taller, if you have bigger muscles, if you're a man, you will need more calories than that, depending on how active you are, if you sit all day, if you're moving around all day. So please take the time, I encourage you, take the time to work out your daily caloric needs and then stick roughly within that or if you want to lose weight, but just make sure you are losing weight at a healthy range and a healthy level and at a healthy rate, about one to two pounds a week is healthy. Then enjoy your running, but don't couple it to weight loss. That's all, there's no more to be said on that topic. You just enjoy your running, but enjoy your running for running and do your weight loss as a separate thing because weight loss is all about what you put into your mouth. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye.